Grade 4, Module 1, Lesson 3, Homework. Number 1. Rewrite the following numbers, including commas, where appropriate. So to put commas, we always start in the ones place, and we count back, and every three numbers, we put a comma. This just helps us to group the numbers so that the number is easy to, easier to look at and read when we get to reading and writing numbers in written form. So I'm going to start at the 1 and count back 1, 2, 3, and so my comma goes right there. We have 4,321. For B, again, I'm going to start at the 1 and count back 3 and put a comma, so 54,321. C, I'll start at the 6, count back 3, 1, 2, 3, that's 224,466. Count back one, two, three. Now we have four more digits left, so I'm going to count three again and put another comma. So we have two million two hundred twenty-four thousand four hundred sixty-six. And the last one, I'm going to count back three. I'm going to count three more, three more, three. So we have ten billion. 10 million, 11,000, and 1. The biggest mistake I see students make on this one is by counting from the largest place value, so starting left to right, because that's how we're used to reading, but we always want to start in the ones place and work our way that way. Number two, solve each expression, record your answer in standard form. Four tens plus six tens. So 4 plus 6 would be 10 tens, and 10 tens is equal to 100. The next one is 8 hundreds plus 2 hundreds. That's 10 hundreds, and 10 groups of 100 is 1,000. And then 5 thousands plus 7 thousands, that would be 12 thousands, or... 12,000. Number three, represent each add-end with place value disks in the place value chart. Show the composition of larger units from 10 smaller units. Write the sum in standard form. So we have two thousands plus 12 hundreds. Let's start by writing those in the place value chart. We have two thousands and then we have 12 hundreds. I'm going to group, put it in groups of 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what we can do is take one group of 10 hundreds and transfer it over into the thousands. So what we have is 1, 2, 3 thousands and 2 hundreds, or 3,200. B, 14 10 thousands plus 12 thousands. So let's draw 14 ten thousands. And 12 thousands. Now I'm going to use a different color to show how we can group them into the next place value. So I'm going to take 10, one, 10 groups of 10,000, that's going to turn into 1 100,000, and then I still have these four left over, and then I'm going to have, I'm going to take 10 thousands and make that one group of 10,000, and I still have my two thousands left over. So what I have is 100,000, then we have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, five ten thousands and two thousands and then nothing in these other place values so we have one hundred fifty two thousand number four use digits or disks on the place value chart to represent the following equations write the product in standard form a is ten times five thousands so let's draw our five thousands 
and now we're going to multiply these by 10. And when we do that, they each move over one place value and we end up with 5 ten thousands or 50,000. And how many thousands are in the answer? That would be 50, because we took each of these and multiplied it by 10. 5 times 10 is 50. B, 4 ten thousands, 4 thousands. Let's just start by drawing those. So we have 4 ten thousands and 4 thousands. And we're going to multiply each of those by 10. So if I multiply that by 10, they move over to the hundred thousands. And if I multiply these by 10, it moves over to the ten thousands. So we have four hundred thousands, four ten thousands, and these moved over. So now nothing in the thousands, hundreds, tens, or ones place, which makes it four hundred forty thousand. So how many thousands are in your answer? Well, we just, it is 440,000, so there are 440 thousands. And C, 27 thousands, three hundreds, five ones. So let's start with the 27 thousands. There's 27 thousands, three hundreds, and five ones. Not, no tens, five ones. I'm going to start by grouping these right here and moving them to the ten thousands. So we really have two ten thousands, seven thousands, three hundreds and five ones. And then we're multiplying it all by ten. So if I multiply this by ten, they're going to move over here. If I multiply the seven by ten, they'll move over to the ten thousands. So we have two thousands, seven ten thousands. Multiply the hundreds by ten. They'll move here, we have three hundreds. There's nothing in the tens place to multiply, so there's going to be nothing in the hundreds place. If I multiply the ones by ten, I'll end up with five tens. And nothing in the ones place. So we get 273,050. And how many thousands are in our answer? We have 273 thousands. Number five, a large grocery store received an order of 2,000 apples. A neighboring school received an order of 20 boxes of apples with 100 apples in each. Use disks or, dis use disks or disks on a place value chart to compare the number of apples received by the school and the number of apples received by the grocery store. So let's draw a place value chart. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. And I'm going to represent 2,000 apples in blue. So we have 2,000 for the grocery store. And the neighboring school received an order of 20 boxes of apples with 100 in each. So they had 20 groups of 100. I'm going to draw that in blue or green. So we can take each of these. We know that a group of ten hundreds is one thousand 
and we have another group. So they are equal. So they each, it says, compare them. We can say that the grocery store and the school each received an equal number of apples. Because the store equals 2,000 and the school was 20 times 100, which we just proved was equal to 2,000 as well. So they are the same.